You never master your skill. Um, you uh, master some uh, processes, but you never master your craft. Any part, anybody that does this will tell you that there's always a step above where you're working. It's an artistic expression. It's something to do. It's rewarding. Uh, People uh, appreciate the, the work, uh, it keeps me off the couch, it keeps my brain working. I like inletting locks, I like to shape, I like the shaping part. It's tedious and, and it takes a long time, but it's, it's a lot of fun. When you're this far along, on any project, you don't want to mess up. Right now I'm at uh, about 50 hours and a mistake would be a, just a terrible thing. You know, you don't want to ever make a fatal, a fatally bad mistake on a piece of wood. Uh, it's much like the finishing parts here, you know, when you, when you get everything done and the barrel and the lock and all the parts are out of this piece of wood. It's this tiny little toothpick that you're that you're that you're carrying around. It's almost like nitroglycerin. You got to be so careful with it, or you might break it. Normally, when I I'm married to one of these things, and I'm I'm um, wallering it around for 60, 60 hours to hundred and sixty hours. After it's finished, I'm ready to give it up. I don't want to look at it anymore. I don't know how many artists are like that, painters or what have you, but if you spend so much time looking at something, it, it's, it's nice to see again, but I don't want to spend any more time with it. You always have that secret little, man, I sure hope it works right in the back of your head, but you, know, you already know it's going to work fine. But it's uh, it's it's nice. It's a payoff. Then you have to clean the damn thing. It's a good hobby. It's it's something like I said that you can you can. It's country boy art. That's all I can tell you. It's it's art that kills. Uh, it's it's something that you can do that's that has value that that doesn't just hang on the wall. A person can take it out and shoot it, or put a meal on the table with it pass it on to his family and it, something that for as long as we're around humans are around there will be one or two of these laying around somewhere I've got a hundred or so floating around out there somewhere okay we all want to kind of live forever in some way so that's part of that